Let's continue the explanation of chapter 13 about alkanes. We are going to explain the chemical properties of alkanes that are represented by two reactions, combustion reaction and substitution reaction. Before we start with the combustion and the substitution reaction of alkane, you should know that alkanes have low reactivity since they are classified as saturated hydrocarbons. Why they are called saturated hydrocarbons? Due to the presence of a single covalent bond only between carbon atoms. So as a result, they do not react with acids and bases. Let's start with the first reaction of alkanes, which is the combustion reaction. A combustion reaction is a reaction with oxygen gas. We have two types of combustion reactions. It's either incomplete combustion or a complete combustion, depending on the amount of oxygen. Whether it's a sufficient amount, it's an excess, or it's insufficient. If the amount of oxygen is insufficient, then the combustion is said to be incomplete. And the products are water vapor and carbon, which is a black deposit. While if the amount of oxygen is sufficient, oxygen exists in excess, so the combustion is said to be complete, a complete combustion which gives carbon dioxide and water vapor. Let's write the balanced chemical equation for the complete combustion of alkane. You have to follow the following general equation to write a balanced equation. CnH2n plus 2, which is the general molecular formula of an alkane, plus the coefficient beside the O2 oxygen gas is 3n plus 1 over 2. It produces NCO2 plus N plus 1 H2O. Don't forget that N represents the number of carbon atoms. For example, the complete combustion of octane, octane n equal 8. What you have to do is to substitute the value of n in the given general equation. So you will get 2C8H18 plus 25O2. It produces 16CO2 plus 18H2O. The second reaction of alkanes is the substitution reaction. A substitution reaction is a reaction with halogens, especially chlorine and a bromine. This substitution reaction produces two products. The first product is an organic compound called haloalkane. It's called a haloalkane since it's an alkane that contains a halogen. And the second product is a hydrogen halide HX. X, it could be either Cl or Br. In the following example, it's a substitution reaction of methane, CH4, with Cl2 chlorine. This substitution reaction, it takes place in the presence of sunlight or UV light. In this reaction, a hydrogen atom in CH4 is replaced by a Cl atom from chlorine Cl2. So you will get the first product CH3Cl, which is called chloromethane. It's a haloalkane due to the presence of a halogen chlorine. And the second product HCl. If the chlorine exists in excess amount, then the substitution reaction of methane continues until all the hydrogen atoms are replaced by Cl atoms, as represented in the following reactions. The obtained product in the first reaction, CH3Cl, will react again with Cl2, where one hydrogen atom in this compound is replaced by one Cl atom. So you will get CH2Cl2. And this product will react again with Cl2, also one hydrogen atom is replaced by one Cl atom. So you will get CH, Cl3. This compound will also react with Cl2. So now the last hydrogen atom is replaced by Cl atom. So you will get CCl4, which is called tetrachloromethane. Why it's called tetrachloromethane? Since we have four chlorine atoms. Here it's called trichloromethane due to the presence of the three chlorine atoms. And this compound is called dichloromethane due to the presence of two chlorine atoms. 
So finally, to write a balanced chemical equation for the substitution reaction of an alkane, you should start by writing the general molecular formula of an alkane, which is CnH2N plus 2, plus XCl2, where X could be 1, 2, 3. Under the effect of sunlight or UV light, it produces two products, haloalkane or a chlorinated compound, and the second one, which is hydrogen chloride, as represented in this equation.